Hi and welcome back. Over the past four weeks I got lucky to have my dad visit us in Australia all the way from Germany. After our trip down south we spent the rest of his time with us in Perth. Really just hanging out with the girls. <laughs> And even though it was hectic at times, I wouldn't want to have missed it for the world. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. So the day of my dad's departure arrived all too soon and we had to say goodbye again. We're back where it all started. Back at the airport, there's my little dad. He's gonna fly home today. Which is always bittersweet, but not so bad this time because only in three weeks, we will be sitting on a plane ourselves, flying to Germany. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao. All right, I am about to go through this pile of children's clothes, and I'll see what we actually need to pack. Can't believe it, in four days I'm going to fly home. Yeah, last time I was home was in 2017. So I'm looking forward to that, of course. So. I also feel worried, I guess. I felt really fragile the past few days, particularly leading up now to this trip, like leading up to it being really specific and kind of tangible and, and it, it's happening. Like nothing's going to be cancelled on us, I don't think. Uh, restrictions are easing everywhere, including Australia. I'm pretty certain we can go um, packing up stuff now and then, you know, like, like it gets real, we're going to do this, but that also means, you know, my little safe bubble I've been in, protected sort of away from all the heartache and, and the reality of my mum's passing, that's going to burst and, and I'll just have to really confront it there. Just the thought I'll, I'll get there and my mum really will not be there. It's, it's, it's hard. It's very hard. I now have to think about what to take back to put in a grave. You know, is it? Jesus, I got something nice to put in a grave, actually. It's a little tile. And this one um, in particular is Rottnest Island. So when my mum was here last with my dad, um, we went there together with Izzy. I'm still excited to get there. My dad's very excited. He put all the rooms together, you've got beds for the girls. Because we're going to stay a long time, did I tell you we're going to stay until mid-September? Now though, stopping the talking, I'm going to get into this packing business now. We wanted to go on a flight today to Germany, but she's really sick. Now we're going to have to work out how to change the dates without paying thousands of dollars extra. Alright, we changed our flights. We won't be able to go today. Izzy's too sick, the poor little thing. So um, we're flying, we managed to change um, the date to exactly one week from now. And yeah. luckily it didn't cost any extra. Good morning. Well, there you go. Very glad we didn't go because I'm very sick now and um, Lara, don't be fooled. She had a terrible, terrible night. Her nose is blocked. I couldn't sleep last night because I had to hold her the whole time because she couldn't lie flat. Um, but you had a bit of a better sleep. You actually slept through for the first time. Yeah, and I slept fast. Then I said, bye. Mum didn't come because Dad came to get you up because Mummy was in her room with Clara. Dad. I'm trying to help her to sleep. So it is now two days after our flight. I'm currently sitting in the parking lot um, of the doctor's office waiting to be seen because Izzy's now complaining about ear pain as well. And um, we could definitely not fly with an ear infection so I just want to get it checked out and cleared. Lara's there too. She had two very rough nights ending up sleeping with me in the room. I'm still pretty sick. So, which is why we have to wait outside and the doctor's coming out to see us. Still testing negative to COVID, so it's something else. Alright, keep you posted. 
All right, we're back from the doctor, also from the pharmacy, which means Izzy is definitely um, a bit sicker than we even thought, and she does have an ear infection, so she's on antibiotics now. Glad we picked that up early, like flying with an ear infection. That would have been absolutely terrible. All right, well, we'll see how we continue. Hopefully, at this rate, hopefully we'll be able to fly on Sunday. Well, it is now Friday. Oop, it's the 6th, the 6th of May. On the 8th, we're supposed to fly out. Well, the kids are doing a bit better, especially Izzy. Clara is still struggling a little bit, but um, she's also getting there. And um, hopefully, hopefully, nothing's going to be in our way now. <laughs> wow, good jumping, Clara. Our flight is tomorrow and it's looking good. Good morning. <laughs> what are we doing today? Eat. Yeah, well, we're eating now. And what are we doing this evening? Our flight on the hour plane. Yay! So today is the 8th of May. It is Mother's Day in Australia. And today is the day we're finally going to be flying out. Is he decorated herself? Let us see. Whoa! <laughs> Slack my teddy. Are we going to go on a big plane today? Oh, yes! Are we going to go on the aeroplane? Yeah. And we're going to be so long on the plane, we're going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we're going to sleep on it. Where are we? At the airport. At the airport. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> These two have been up. Well, Izzy apparently since about three ish, and um, Clara since about four. Um, which is not the worst outcome. We went, um, geez, I'm so tired. Mark and I we basically didn't have a sleep since two days ago. <laughs> so now I entertain them in this room. Uh, we had two rooms, like Clara and I shared a room. <coughs> Yeah, because she obviously wakes up at night still for feeding and I didn't want to, if Izzy does sleep, I didn't want to wake her up. 
So um, now we're in my room. And um, Mark's catching up on one more hour of sleep. Is he? No, no. Anyway, we're here. Can't believe it. I have to organise a train ticket and cart all our stuff around and then make our way to Leipzig. And from there, my dad will pick us up to go to Chemnitz. <laughs> oh, Lewis. What's happening? This is um, set up here so no one falls out of bed hitting themselves hard on the floor. So we've got a step bed arrangement. <laughs> All right, we're now at the train station. Taking the train from Frankfurt to Leipzig. I said thank you to that way for taking us to the wedding. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> that's not my kid. It's Belle, it's too shy. Leipzig main station and um, we met up with my dad he's going to pick us up we lived in Leipzig for a long time so it's nice being home look we're home hi Izzy's got her own little room and Clara has her own little room Look at that. Nice. There was a little table in the middle, but um, she knocked it over. <laughs> nice. My mum's here too. Hello. It is a few days later. We've arrived in Chemnitz. We're at my dad's place. But we all got really, really sick. We all had gastro. Um, pretty badly. So, today is the first day we're actually going out. And meeting some of my family. So now we're going to my Opie, grand, to my granddad, to their great granddad, to our Opie. So he's just living around the corner. We're going to walk there, and I'm going to be able to see him finally, the first time in five years, and he's never met the girls. So here we go. We're going to meet our Opie. He doesn't like. Ah, uh, yeah. He whistles with his fingers, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go and see him now. Oh, you excited? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is where we live, the building. Now we're going to Oropi. Oh, pass auf. Gibst dem Oropi, kannst du mal hingehen jetzt. Pass auf, geh hin. Now we've just come back from my grandpa, Izzy's great grandpa, which was lovely. Uh, good to see him after such a long time. And good for the girls to really see him and get to know him. And he's so close from now on, we can just visit him every day whenever we want. Um, right, so now I'm going to make a little snack and then, um, and then I'm going to go to my mum's grave for the first time. Child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. Ooh, I know you tried so hard. I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright 